let's find the length of v equal to 3, 1. But before we do that, let's just get some notation out of the way. When we're talking about the length of a vector, we write these double bars around it, almost like a double absolute value around the vector. And now this is read the length of v. Okay. So going back to our vector v, uh, we have its x component is 3 and its y component is 1. So that simply means we've moved over 3 in the x direction and up 1 in the y direction. And now we've formed a right triangle. And it turns out that the length of this vector is just the hypotenuse of this triangle. And so we could just use the Pythagorean theorem. The length of v squared is equal to the uh, 3 squared, the base squared, plus the height squared. So 3 squared plus 1 squared. This is directly uh, a direct application of the Pythagorean theorem. And so that implies, if we just take the square root of both sides, that the length of v is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared, which simplifies to the square root of 10. And it's really just as simple as that. All we're doing when we're finding the length of a vector is finding the hypotenuse of a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, let's look at another example. Uh, let's say we have something like u is equal to negative 2, 7. So let's draw that. We're going to move over by 2 and up by 7, so something like that. So we've moved over negative 2 and we moved up up by 7. So maybe I'll erase that. There we go. Okay, and now the length of u, again, is just given by the Pythagorean theorem. And we can just skip right to the final step. And this is just going to be equal to the square root of negative 2 squared plus 7 squared which turns out to be uh, 53, the square root of 53. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Okay, let's do another example here. How about um, w is equal to uh, 3, negative 2. Just making stuff up. Well, then the length of w is just going to be the square root of the of 3 squared plus negative 2 squared. So we have 9 plus 4, so this is 13. This is the square root of 13. And we could graph that if we wanted to. We're going to go over 3, down by 2, so it's going to look something like that. And again, this is down 2, over 3. We're just talking about uh, the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Okay, so I hope this was helpful, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.